Why can't I move my legs? Nora. Nora. Mom? Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the extended trailer that was released just last night for The Flash Season 5 Episode 10. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this trailer is our long trailer that we've been waiting for. I've been sort of questioning whether those two short little promos were actually our full like promotion they were doing but no we've got this long trailer so expect a supergirl one expect a longer arrow one we got a short arrow one i'm going to be trying to catch up on the mid-season finale of arrow i haven't got around to watching it yet and so maybe when that comes out that longer arrow trailer i'll make a video on that but definitely supergirl because i'm all caught up okay so but the flash released this today and i have to say i'm a little bit confused about all this footage that they've been releasing because the last promo had none of this footage it was totally different the tone was different and it was this fast and furious like episode the title of this trailer is the flash and the furious so presumably it's the same episode because they keep on promoting these two completely different kinds of episodes and none of that is in this trailer so i really don't know what's going on maybe they've mixed it up in the marketing maybe they've like mashed two episodes together but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys the heads up because maybe this could not be next episode, but maybe it could be the episode after or it could be vice versa. So for now, we're just going to break this down. We're thinking it's episode 10 right now, so we'll have to wait and see. The first shot in the trailer is of Nora. She's been running around in the speed labs. She's tired. She comes out. And then Barry in the voice overlay talks about this is the biggest race of their life and we see them ice skating. Obviously... A nice flash pun and I personally love ice skating so I don't know for me it was kind of nice to see this that was just like a little thing I thought I would put in there but anyway we move on to the next shot and this shot is vital this is what we're going to be furthering on from past the mid-season finale that was the hundredth episode and at the end of that we saw the reverse flash return that being Eobard Thorne played by Tom Kavanagh in 2049 he's locked up in Iron Heights and we see him in this prisoner suit and you know his weird new hair that i really like but this is just a new shot of him facing back so this is like obviously either just after the conversation or mid conversation when he faces away from nora but yeah an amazing new shot i really like the color sort of composition with, with the color composition with the yellows and the blues i don't know that's just like a thing that i wanted to mention but anyway Looking forward to the whole scene with him and Nora. Okay, so moving back, we got another like ice skating shot of Nora and Barry as they just happily skate along as a family. And then we go back to that voice overlay we heard in the first trailer, which was um, Reverse Flash and Nora talking about how he gave her everything that he could go back. And this is after the fact that Nora's going to be absolutely furious that she didn't know that Reverse Flash killed her grandmother. And so that is a massive revelation to her. She's going to be grappling with that in this episode. We see young Nora and young Nora's in the Flash Museum. So this is in the past. And this confirms, yes, Barry and Iris are going to the future because we see them in the same frame and Cisco's not there. So they've obviously time travel. Barry's just run to the future to this specific point and we see them together and I think the reason why they're actually here is not necessarily for young Nora. Maybe they just want a glimpse of her but also mainly for Cicada and getting answers as later in the trailer suggests. But this shot is amazing. We see all the Flash merchandise. We see Barry and Iris in the future with young Nora in the same frame, which is just incredible. And so it ends off with Nora actually looking through that glass to Reverse Flash as he gives her that speech. And so then Reverse Flash talks about her running with the Flash. And we see Nora as she powers up and she runs and she goes to Barry. And then the next shot after that is of a crime scene and this is where the cicada part of the story kicks back in and so this is a bit confusing because if cicada is the main villain of this episode he is of the season but of this specific episode how are those two other metas going to play into it and the photos that were released for episode 10 suggest otherwise so i'm still very confused as to what parts in what and what episodes in which and 
are they cramming this all together into one episode? I don't know, but it seems like it's a lot of content to fit into one 45 minute episode. Okay, so we move on and we see Nora and you get to see her talk and then she's flung into the air by an explosion. And so this could be Cicada, but also this is probably my only link into that Fast and Furious type storyline of the episode, supposedly. This could be the missiles that Nora was actually dodging, maybe she gets hit. So, I don't know, it could actually be in this episode, but either way, the next shot shows Nora, she's unconscious, probably near death, and we know that something very wrong has gone wrong in her back or in her spine. So this is a bone tingling moment for us, but also for Barry because she's on the edge of her life, obviously. And so we move on to the next shot, back in Star Labs. And so when I first saw this, I was like, oh shit, what is going on? And so, you know, they're just comforting Nora and she says, why can't I feel my legs or why can't I move my legs? What's that a callback to? Season 2, when Barry couldn't use his legs when he was in the wheelchair, when he was paralysed, same thing has happened. Something has gone wrong with her back and or her neck. As you can see, she's got a neck brace on and they're comforting her. And so she's like, mom, like what is going on? And... Wow, I'm just so intrigued for this episode. I thought they ended the 100th episode, the mid-season finale, so well. And this trailer gets me so hyped. The last trailer was alright, you know, with the Fast and Furious stuff. But it's nothing special compared to this trailer. Okay, so moving on, we see Cicada in some sort of bar because you see a pool or a snooker table. And the light's destroyed, so he's obviously killed someone. As it says prior in the trailer, Cicada's on a killing spree and they can't stop him. And so we see Cicada in his new suit, it's actually a new suit if you didn't realise. He's got like patterns all over it, so it's not like he's done it on purpose I don't think. I think this is just the costume department changing it. As they did with Savitar, they made Savitar's suit in real life at like the mid-season. And then prior to that it was all CGI, so I think it's a very similar thing that's going on right there. And then we get this utterly gut-wrenching shot of us looking from Iris and Barry's perspective at Nora, utterly distraught in this neck brace and she's unable to move and Barry is sort of tearing up in his eyes. You can see that twinkle in his eye and so this is utterly sort of heart wrenching and Cecile's talking to him and she's essentially trying to say don't give in to all of this anger because you will become like Cicada. It seems like this attack was actually from Cicada so maybe it's not the missiles from those two metas. I think it would be more impactful if it was Cicada, so we'll wait and see, but it seems like Barry's utterly mad and utterly distraught about Cicada, and so I'm guessing Nora probably does get that injury from Cicada, maybe she gets stabbed in the back, in the spine or something. Cicada, we see him outside, I love the overexposure, and you see Barry and he's getting a pep talk from Cecile, and he's sort of trying to not embrace the anger, but you can see the anger seeping out of him. And so he is going to probably try and kill Cicada and definitely beat the shit out of him. And so we see Cicada again, you know, in his new suit, in the public. And you see Barry and it looks like Cisco next to him. And Barry says, he's mine. I'm paraphrasing. I don't really utterly remember like the single line. But he wants him for himself. He's mad. And then we cut to the future again. This is in the Flash Museum. In the future, we see Barry and Iris as they talk together. And so they talk about how Cicada, they're in the Hall of Villains, he never stops killing. Well, it could be in terms of Reverse Flash, as we see in the next shot, but most likely it is Cicada. But we see Reverse Flash in the Flash Museum, walking around. I've heard some people being like, this is Reverse Flash. This is the real Reverse Flash, but he's just got a black mask on. No, what I think is going on here, this is like a sort of animatronic, or one of the mannequins actually moving around, so maybe it's something maybe it's a meta here or maybe it's just literally something that happens that it walks around and maybe that's part of the attraction you know to scare people i don't know but that is not the real reverse flash but he does have the real suit but again this is a mannequin of sorts okay so and then we see barry and iris hiding under the table in the flash museum so maybe this does sort of pay into the idea that this could be him but it's not when you look at it and then we cut back to present day and we see in that very same shot from earlier Barry and Cicada are fighting in that bar and then we go back to the hospital we see Cicada in his hospital gear so maybe he's gone undercover or something along those lines 
and so we rapidly cut to Star Labs and we see Caitlin and she's talking to someone but we see Ralph and Ralph's kind of scared maybe he's just been jumped upon and again in Star Labs Nora after she's been attacked she's lying on the bed she's got some sort of like aid on her head and this is most likely straight after the attack or it could be a bit later but it seems like she's woken up from being knocked out or something along those lines and Barry's embracing that anger as Cecile says to not do as he beats the shit out of Cicada it looks like. Okay so we move back to the hospital and this is very interesting because I can't tell who this woman is with Grace but Grace seemingly is using power so is Grace a meta human? I think so if you look carefully at this shot like everything surrounding sort of crackling and bursting out into this mini explosion and what is there? Nothing. It's probably Grace and her meta human powers because she got hit by that satellite so is Takeda gonna kill his own adopted daughter? Like, no way. And so I think maybe this is going to be like a, a test of morality for Takeda. Like, is he willing to kill everyone that he's in fact going to kill Grace? And the main reason for killing all the Metas is because they hurt Grace and because this is all rooted from Metas, he says. And so what's going on there we'll have to wait and see and so the final shot of the trailer is really nice it's in the flash museum in the future and this is little nora as she drops a flash doll and this is most likely seeing her parents like what is happening this episode seems so packed i really don't know if it's going to be episode 10 or 11 so we'll have to wait and see because there's totally different footage in these different trailers but anyway guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel, my film channel, my movie podcast channel, because we upload on all of those super regularly. Also, leave a like and a comment on this video. Tell me about your theories. Is this all going to be in one episode? What's going on in the future? What's going on with Reverse Flash? What's going on with Cicada? And all of this. So anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Service like shine.